Hello, I'm Maria Lane and welcome to my weekly inspirational video. And I was sitting here today contemplating about what I can share with you today. And I must nothing was flowing until I glanced up and I saw my favourite book, Personal Power Through Awareness. And I thought, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fan the pages and look at some words and let that inspire me to share a message with you. And then I'm going to complete it this week with my brand new Conscious Spirit cards, Oracle cards. They're beautiful. So let's see what the universe would like me to share with you. And we're going to be guided by what my eyes land on. So here we go. Let's see. I love doing this. This is how I read most of my books, by the way. I just randomly fan okay it's got here the first thing i'm looking at to bring the subconscious into the higher self look at each area of your life and ask what is my highest vision okay so let's expand on that one what is your highest vision i believe it is to live a life full of joy and happiness as often as you can now we are here having a human experience and whilst utopia sounds like a well it is a dream for a lot of us you know we can achieve this but it's recognizing that sometimes those not so pleasing events that pop up from time to time are our greatest teachers and it helps us clarify our desires so when we see them for what they are um, a clarification point well then it doesn't have so much pull and if we can learn to respond to a situation rather than react to it um, completely different outcomes and what I'm referring to is you know most of our um, clarifying points come when we're dealing with other people you know and um, I think sometimes the ego takes over and our need to be right to really drive a point because um, it's you know it's a personal thing you know sometimes we just got to let it go and not have to be right all the time but just see it for what it is once again it's a clarifying point and also look at the people that we interact with and see that they're actually reflecting a part of who we are and from that point of view we can look at that mirror and say okay I need to work on that myself in order for it to be released because nothing is random nothing whatsoever and I go with um run with me on this one i often sit down and reflect and i think this is my movie i'm the director and what i'm living out is a result of my production and it's got nothing to do with anybody else and i look at the um the other actors in my life and i give thanks for them for showing up but you know i get to say what's going to go on in my life and it's driven by what i feel okay so i'd love to hear your feedback what do you think about that one and now let's complete it with these beautiful cards that I was drawn to the other day. So the first one I have here is Nature Spirits. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, it's all about, you know, honouring nature. And I've talked about this many times before. We are all energetic beings. And, you know, the secret to, you know, I think a happy and, and beautiful, joyous life is to tap out, um, tap into the energy of nature, the outdoors, however you can do that and um, really feel that connection with Mother Earth and all the other beautiful blessings that come with it so if you're close to the ocean spend some time listening to some waves if you're close to some greenery sit down and just absorb it um, the, the trees in the air if you're into gardening plant something nurture it watch it grow it's so satisfying to see the results of your, you know, your creation abundance oh, I am grateful for the abundance um, for the abundant nature and the universe provides in my life everything you know really we give thanks for what we we receive and that mere act of giving thanks and being grateful and appreciative will actually create more because we're putting out a beautiful high level energy that's what I call it um, and when we're operating on that premise more and more of it can flow what else have we got here? Oh, reach for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and I achieve them with confidence. <laughs> Absolutely, we do. We, we create everything by our, our feelings. And you know, when you understand that, when you, 
because I think you know so many of us are now starting to understand that you know we do manifest whatever we think um, gosh imagine that if I had that knowledge 20 years ago Ooh, <laughs> how different would my life be but no I can't say that because I didn't know I wasn't ready for that information then and then I wouldn't have all these beautiful experiences that I could share with you so yeah just keep focusing on your dreams they will come true I know they do and the final card I have here is spirit guides I open my heart to my guides and trust the um, in the wisdom they share with me once again absolutely these cards are gorgeous um, we have spirit guides um, we're born with them their energy is always with us um, you can call them angels if you want to whatever works for you but remember they can't assist us unless we physically say a prayer or call them in for their guidance because we were born with free will and that's exactly what we can do we choose what we want and like I said if you choose to call in your angels then they can be there to assist you but remember ask and be open to receiving okay look out for the signs all right everyone I hope you enjoyed my um my message this week I value your feedback please feel free to leave a comment and I look forward to sharing another message with you next week bye Thank you.